What is going on guys, Morbtron back today with more Space Engineers, and today we're going to go on a little bit of an adventure. Uh, so I built, I started to build a thing. Um, it's a solar powered, very not aesthetic looking uh, vehicle. Um, I've got the basics down, I was kind of, I did this off camera just so I can kind of learn stuff. Um, because very tricky. It's still anchored to the ground, so it's not going to move around right now. I wanted to save that for the camera. Um, but I have everything set up. So, I don't, uh, come on game. I don't have any storage boxes yet. That's the next thing to do. Um, but I've got an oxygen tank there. Um, I've got a ore generator, or an ore detector, sorry, back there. I've got a solar panel here to provide power. Um, I don't have any batteries because I don't have the uh, power cells to do so. Uh, there's an air vent down here so I could depressurize the cabin. Um, so that way it, uh, I didn't, you know, suffocate when I was in there. Because when you build a cockpit, even though I'm in an atmosphere right now, there is no oxygen in the cockpit and it's completely sealed. Um, I don't know why you would need that for land vehicles, but, you know, it's a thing, so, um, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on some storage containers, so, we're going to hit G, and then we're going to hit cargo, and we're going to put just one medium container on it, because that's all we should need, really. These medium containers can hold quite a bit, and I'm actually going to put it, uh, let's see, can I put it anywhere like right here-ish, no, why not? If I have to put it up here, it's going to be a big pain in the butt. Why are you not, these snap? Why are you smaller compared to everything else? Was it the large cargo container I was using? Cargo. I don't think it was a large one. The large one's massive, yeah. Why are you... so small? I don't get it. And why are you not snapping? What is going on? These in here are mediums, aren't they? That's a small cargo container. Meteor storm inbound. Okay. Uh, we put that stuff away. Cargo. Five. There we go. Okay, so that's weird. The mediums were smaller than the smalls, and the mediums don't snap. These meteor showers are scary. I had one hit just right, right there. Oh, by the way, this—the wreckage of the ship is still, is still there, and it's floating. I don't, I, I don't, I don't comprende. But you know, whatever. Um. Okay. So I don't have any power. My building is blocking it right now. That sucks. Will you snap? You will snap. Can you snap over here? You can snap over there. Need interior plate. Oh, darn it. An interior plate to start the process of building that. So, interior plate. Let's take that much. Alright. And. Bam. We're gonna go up here to actually build it. And I need a ton more stuff. Okay, I need computers, display, motors, small tube, metal grid. Lame. A lot of running back and forth in this game. Uh, a lot of lag when the server saves too. Any like lag spikes or jumpiness, it's 
server side, unfortunately. The game is very well optimized other than that, though, which is nice. Let's see here. I need some computers. I need some displays for some reason. Um, and I need some motors. All right. And then hopefully, it's in the shadow of my building right now. But hopefully, it will still move. There we go. And then I can actually get rid of these. And here comes the moment of truth. Fingers crossed, I'm gonna... Okay, so it bottomed out. I need to set up suspension travel. Okay. Yeah, it's not moving because it's in the shadow of my building. Or is it because of... Aha, the handbrake was on. Oh, now we're moving. Handbrake on. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, handbrake off. Doesn't really turn all that well. Eh. Alright, so we got magnesium, nickel. I'm actually going to turn back around. Hold on one second here. Handbrake on. Wrong button. Control panel. I believe it's these two wheels. Uh, steering. And breaks on again. Okay, so now it turns a little bit better. Or not. I think the wheels are actually hitting each other. Control panel, wheels 7 and 8. Uh, let's see here. No steering for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm actually going to go handbrake, control panel, and these are my steering tires. They are not going to provide propulsion. The vehicle might be a little bit more stable now. Uh, handbrake. F. Perfect. Alright, so... I'm going to... Oh, that looks so cool. Um, real quick, I'm going to put a... Put some more stuff on it. More stuff that I'm probably going to need. I'm going to put an antenna on it. Let's see here. And... And, uh, um, to put that on the top, apparently that is ginormous. <laughs> uh, I didn't think it was going to be that big. That's what she said. Um, and then let's see here. So I'm going to need to Put my uh server saving. Okay. Server saves quite a bit. And it 
like really really lag spikes when that when it does that too, which is unfortunate. Rotate. Okay, we have a ramp up again and antenna. Maybe rotate you a tiny bit. Bam. Alright, so I need a ton more steel. I need radio equipment, construction components, steel plates. Alright. Let's go get that stuff. The, the purpose of the antenna is that you can see where your vehicle is at all times, so like in case you die, you can go back and get it. Uh, let's see here. I don't need a motor. I don't need any of this garbo. I said I don't need that garbo. Let's get some steel. We'll just need as much radio equipment as we can carry. Okay. Now we're maxed out on weight again. Hold up as much of this as possible. So I still need more radio communication components. I need construction components, small steel tube, and 40 large steel tube. Holy crap. Antennas are expensive. And you can see in there I rearranged some stuff too. So I, I put the assembler vertical. Um, and that's an oxygen generator. I still don't know how to generate oxygen. That's something I have to look up still. Um, I have like 10k ice that came with the ship. Um, take as many large steel tubes as I can. Um, and I know that somehow breaking, like, somehow breaking down the ice turns it into oxygen and hydrogen. Um, I need construction component to continue. God, stupid, stupid, stupid. I didn't get rid of oh the rest of everything. Okay. Um, and large steel. I don't need forty-five. Twenty. I think I need computers as well. And small steel tubes. Um, I think I might need to make a hydrogen hydrogen tank and an oxygen tank in there before I can um, make or make hydrogen and oxygen. That might be a thing. The oxygen tank is pretty small. It's just a one by one. Or, I'm sorry, one by two. The hydrogen tank is massively huge. Um, I'll need to actually make my base bigger just to build it. Um, which is kind of frustrating. Um, so depending on how this goes, I might do that this episode, might do it next episode. I don't know. So I need one more large steel tube. And then I'm going to take some steel with me, just to be safe. There we go. And the antenna is built. What else might we want on this here deal? Besides guns. Guns would be cool. Oh yes, yeah, a gyroscope. Gyroscope. That's gonna go... Uh, server saving. Right here. 
Sniper. Gyroscope. And this will make it so that, uh, let's see, so I need motors, metal grid, large steel tube, construction component. The gyro will make it so the vehicle doesn't, like, jump around and stuff, I, I hope. It's supposed to do that, whether or not it will or not, yet to be seen. So let's see here. I need large steel tubes, I need metal grids, I need construction components. More steel. I know I need some motors. Probably some computers as well. Oh, so silicon's like right underneath of us. Cool. Silicon um, will let me make more battery components and stuff like that. Need more metal grids and more steel. Ugh. A lot of back and forth in this game. A ton of back and forth when you're building stuff. You can't hold enough. All this stuff can go in here because I just need steel and metal grids. Now we have everything to build. The gyroscope. The building in this game takes a long time. It's not like other survival games like Conan or Ark, uh, where you can build components, have the components in your inventory, and then put the components down. You have to, like... That's making some weird noise now. That's a lot of weird noise. Um, you have to like put the stuff, like, the components in, or like put down where you want to put them, and then build the components on the object. That's very uh, taxing. All right, so now let's see how this baby handles with the addition of a gyroscope. It's making a lot of noise. Not really sure I like the gyroscope control panel. Let's put the gyroscope at 50%. Hmm. Okay. Let's just turn the gyroscope off. Ugh. Whoa! What is going on here? Okay, so we need to set up the vehicle a little bit. Let's lock the speed to 50 meters a second. That's as fast as I want to go. Regulates wheel friction by changing pressure in tires. Fuels will not be... Let's go 150 kilometers an hour. I thought I did this over here. Power 
power supply double propulsion 40 percent friction friction equals traction so let's put that there let's try the strength and dampening at 30 percent just to kind of toy around i'm not sure how everything's gonna will affect everything. Uh, bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce. Okay, I'm out of... Stop bouncing everywhere, you stupid... Come on. Stop it. Why, why are you bouncing? Turn your gyroscope back on. What? What is going on? I think I need to turn the. I need to turn the power down on these on these wheels here. Power, ten percent. It's just, it just bounces, okay. Clearly, that, uh, messing around with this stuff was bad. Okay, stop. Stop bounce! Stop bouncing! Stop it! All right, so I wanted to do some exploring, but this is not really allowing me to explore all that much. So handbrake on. I'm not sure why the tires are still making noise. Okay, now we've gotten away from it a little bit. It's better. So that silicon is 28 meters below me. Okay, so we got some ice. That's cool. This thing is hard to use. <laughs> it's really hard to do. Oh, this game. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to burrow down to the silicone, and I will BRBs. Alright guys, and we're back, and... So, I had a, bit, a little bit of a mix-up here. I was mining for the silicone, and I was going back with my vehicle. Um, I'm not I'm not to the silicone, I'm mining down to the silicone. Um, and this thing is, uh, it's a big old poop turd. So, um, right now, handbrake is off. It won't move, like at all. Um, so, it's probably because there's no power to it right now. See there? There's no no little lights. Um, so this thing works until the solar panel on it doesn't get any power. Right now it has power. Okay. Handbrake off, handbrake on. It is just stuck. It won't move. And I don't really understand why. Um... Like I can try getting out of it, getting back in it, handbrake on, handbrake off, it won't move, it's like it's broken. I don't, not, like, not even the wheels are turning side to side. You know, the, it's telling me there's silicone, like, really close to my base, even though I'm farming it over there. Um, I just can't move at all, so... Um, I guess I'm gonna break this thing down and try to make something with 
like hydrogen thrusters or something because I did find a way to make hydrogen. Um, I just need to make more tanks and you see I had to redesign the base a little bit. I still need to finish this window because um, that hydrogen tank is really really big. Um, go in here close this door. This hydrogen tank is massive. Massively massive. I couldn't make the smaller one. I don't understand why. Like, it, it seems like the small blocks are disabled on the server that I'm on, which is unfortunate. Um, but I have an oxygen tank up there with a vent for reasons. I don't know. I was trying to get this thing to work. Um, so it does work, though. Um, so let's see. If I take this hydrogen bottle out, put it in my inventory. That should fill up my hydrogen. Fill up my power. Oh, jetpack is on. Let's fly around here. So there's iron right here that I think fell due to a meteor. So let's... Like, I haven't seen a meteor uh, drop it in and off before. Yeah, there's some iron. Sweet. It's just a little bit of iron. But it's iron. Nonetheless. So you go in here, I have a little bit of iron and I have some ice. Would you stop jumping? Stop it. Stop it. Like, do all these craters have... something? Yeah, it looks like all these craters, like the meteors drop stuff off. Which is cool. So let's go into here and see... This... Meteor dropped off nickel. And I'm just going to jetpack out of this thing. Because if we have ice, we have a way to just continuously make hydrogen, which is good. There we go. There's some silicone. More silicone. So these meteor uh, storms are... What is going on? Why can't... Okay, can, can they stop? Thank you. Almost left behind some silicone. That would have been bad. So yeah, that's cool. Let's go back into my base here. You can see the antennas. I need to break this stupid thing down. Stupid pile of stupid. Um, so the sun is going down. I need to finish this window again. Um... Sorry, I thought that was lighting up. The control panel on it's lighting up. That is it. So we're going to put all this stuff in the refinery. That might be its cue. I guess, yeah. So that's stuff. And with the iron and nickel, we might be able to make steel plates? I'm not really sure. Not really too sure about that one. We're gonna let that craft. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put my tools away. I'm gonna put the ice in there. And I'm going to grab everything I need to finish up the window over here real quick. So yeah, I mean, we didn't get down to the silicone, 
where I'm mining it, but I'll get there eventually. I just need to figure out a better way to e excavate. The ice chunks really get in the way. And the ice chunks are nice, because that's a source of hydrogen and oxygen, which I might break this vehicle down with the tires and make some sort of little, like, planetary flyer. Um, that might be tomorrow's episode. Never know. Um, let's see if I put this oxygen... Yeah, so... This hydrogen tank, I don't know, it's supposed to hold hydrogen. But it's not. So... I don't really... Imprende. But I have a way to make hydrogen and refill the bottles. So I guess that's the thing. Um, but yeah, let's see what the... Refinery has going on here. It's still processing all that silicone. So let's take the iron. Let's put it in our assembler. And then we go into pr the production tab here, and we can actually make like construction components. We can make steel plates out of iron, interior plates, large steel tubes, small steel tubes. Um, what I want to make is explosives would be cool. Um, so let's see here. We have tools. I need nickel and silver to make more tanks. So nickel is nearest. I don't know where silver is. I'll have to um, go on an adventure to find that. But let me see where what am I looking for here. Display, no. Power cell. I need nickel, which I have, which it's being crafted now, and silicon wafer which is being crafted right now as well. I'm going to take all of that out of there, so I'll be able to make more batteries now, which is amazing, because maybe if I can put batteries on that piece of turd over there, it wouldn't be such a huge piece of turd, is what I'm thinking. Alright. Let's just grab that. Production power cell. Let's just make a bunch of them. Nice. Cool. Well, we have successfully crafted stuff. Somewhat renewable. Hooray! I'll just have to go exploring all these little node deals here, um, and maybe try to fix that piece of turd. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that is going to be it for the day, guys. So if you like the episode, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel and you want to see more of this stuff, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda is coming out early release for me tomorrow. Um, I might stream that. I don't know. That's still up for debate. I might just record it and post it as a video. We'll see how it goes. Um, so subscribe if you want to check that out. Um, do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And I will catch you all next time.